Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, then I post videos every week or so. This video is gonna be something that's actually requested by several of uh, my friends and people on Instagram because people keep asking me like, girl, how do you edit your videos? You know, like, what do you use? What apps do you use? You do it on your phones, you do it on your computer. I knew initially that I didn't know if my channel was gonna um become popular i guess or you know take off so i was just gonna use what was free basically i was not about to pay for no final cut pro and i probably will if my channel reaches maybe like a thousand plus subscribers but right now we're at like 530 so what we're gonna do today, I'm just gonna show you guys how I edit my videos and I really, really hope I touch on everything you guys might be wondering about. Um, but if I don't, then feel free to message me on my Instagram or on YouTube. Just comment right below and I will try my best to answer you guys' questions. Alright, anyway, so I'm a little sick today, but I'm going to try my best to have, you know, all this great energy for you guys. Because I don't want this to be, like, depressing. Like, we're about to <laughs> edit some videos. Okay, so here we go. Um, So this is iMovie right here. So I do have Google and iMovie open right now for you guys because that's what I usually use. I use iMovie to edit and... um. I use Google for images or, you know, the PNG images that I add, like when I pop up stuff on my screen, that's what I use. Or um, let's say when I do my hauls, how I do that is like, here, I go to Gymshark, here, hold on, it's like taking a while, but, oh, here we go, I go to Gymshark and okay so i guess they have new things for the fall oh yes that's so cute let's say i'm doing a haul let's say i bought all this stuff right like this outfit here and i want to show you guys and pop it up all i do is do command shift four and it pops up this thing right here and i drag my cursor like that and let's say the price is right there boom i got the picture and where it goes is straight to my desktop Okay, so let's go back to iMovie. Okay, here's my iMovie. So if you've never ever done any projects or media, nothing, um, no movies on iMovie, you just open it, it's free. Like it should already be there on your laptop or your desktop. And if you never, and if you don't have any projects open, you just do create new and put movie. Right, so since I'm already editing, I know this is kind of weird right here. This, um, what's it called? The screenshot or whatever it uses. But anyway, so this is my intro I use for all my YouTube videos. And this is my tripod unboxing. But anyway, so, um, let's just open that. All right. Now you see my little memes here already. Oh, that's kind of loud. Okay, so as you can see, I've already edited a lot of the video. It's basically finished. You just have to do some minor touches. But I didn't edit like the very end of it, right? So let's say this is a brand new thing, right? A brand new video thing. So um, like right here, I have the four main videos that I edited right all the way through here right so what I did is I opened up my new movie I press this button here and it opens up project media and then you just find your video if it's on your desktop already like here's the screenshot see that's a screenshot I just took and the other one and yeah you click on it import selected and then it pops up right here in your project media and I don't know if you guys want me to show you how I put music in it and by the way obviously has to be not copyrighted music because that's very important like you can't make money off your YouTube videos if your music is copyrighted 
So, all this music is obviously, as you can see, vlog, no copyright music, uh, NCS release, and NCS release, whoa, NCS releases are usually not copyrighted, but I'm like out of breath already. This is going to be a lot of talking. Um, yeah. All right, and yeah, and when it comes to like these memes or something like that, um, all you have to do is obviously look it up through image search on Google and you put like anything you want. Like, you know how I have like the funny memes, like literally I just look up anything and like you find it, you download it to your download folder or whatever. Anyway, so obviously as you can see this whole part right here is not edited. So, like, how you drag your music in there is you just click on it and then drag it down here. But see, down up here is more for sound effects that I do, like that cork pop sound with my pictures. You know, whenever a picture pops up, I also put that sound so it drives more attention towards it. But I'll show you guys how I do that too. But music goes all the way down here, right? I don't know if I want to put that song there, but um, what the heck? Okay, so so for audio sound effects, um, you could either make your own on GarageBand, which I'm not about to do that. But for sound effects, as you can see, I already looked up the bottle cork sound here. That's the sound. So I use that for all of my mm, pop-up pictures or anything like that, more information for you guys. But as you can see, there's so many different um, effects, sound effects. So I think they're really cool. Like there's really funny ones, like cartoon ones or like, what the heck is that? I don't know what that is. Let me give you guys a better one like billiards is that how you say it i don't know but yeah so there's a bunch a bunch a bunch a bunch of sound effects Ooh. okay that's kind of weird so anyways yeah so there that is and how you let me just show you guys how i drag those sounds there so it's so easy you literally just take it and drag it right here right here but yeah don't put it down where the music should be unless you don't put any music in your videos like you know background sound so just put it either right here in this area because it's gonna drop down in this area instead of the music area oh there we go okay so either here or uh, or on top here but yeah i'm not gonna use that so anyway, so your media is the spot where you have all your memes, all your informational pictures or anything like that. Um, any video parts you're putting in, like this is my main videos I'm using. And then this is my intro video. And you know, the subscribe, the like thing. What is that? Oh, it's the bottle cork sound and my music, right? All right, so that's my media. And then audio is the sound effects, titles. I never ever use titles, but if you wanted to use titles, like you're doing like step one, step two, or you want like a title title. Oh God, why is it loading like that? What is this? So let's say you wanna just use this title for like step one. You just put it literally wherever. And let's say, oh God. See, so the text is there. So you could just click on it twice and then put step one or like exercise, whatever, you know, the exercise type thing. So anyway, yeah, let's delete that because so I'm not about that life. Um, yeah, and then I don't know what this is. I actually never even really looked at this before. Oh my goodness. Oh God, I don't know what it's doing. Um, I don't know what this is, so I never use it. I never use transitions either. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just like extra work that you don't really have to put into your video, but I guess some people do it. Um, but yeah, 
Okay, so there's that. There's how the thing split up. That's where you put your music. That's you, where you put your sound effects. And right up here is where I put my pictures, okay? So let me show you an example. So for example, where is it? Oh my goodness, why is this happening? Okay, so there's... See how it pops up right there? And then right there. Oh, okay, okay, good thing I like talked about this now. Okay, so see... I'll show you guys later how it pops up. RIP. So anyway, I got myself a $66 tripod instead. Okay, so let me show you how I do that. I'm gonna do it. This is kind of annoying that like I don't want to hear myself talking while I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so okay, let's just use this for example, right? By the way, picture in picture, let me show you guys how I do that. Because when I started doing YouTube, oh my god, I was so lost. I was like, why is there no one doing videos about picture in picture? Like, how do I do that? Because I wanted to do overlay gaming or whatever it's called. Let me show you guys. So this can be a video. You could overlay your main video with another video, which is actually what I'm going to do for this current video I'm filming. But let's just show you a picture and this is exactly how you would do a video but you would have to match up the sounds with yeah i'm gonna struggle with that probably but anyway so let's drag this frog meme thing over here let's say i'm gonna put it like right here right so see how it's like this for now baby that's dangerous <laughs> okay yeah so it's weird right so Make sure it's highlighted with the yellow right there. And then see how it says cutaway. So you can either, if you have a green screen or a blue screen behind you and you're trying to do like that stuff, then you could click on that. But yeah, that's obviously not going to work. So you could do split screen if that's what you want to do. Or you could do picture in picture, which is what I do because that's just what I like. And then you could adjust it however you want. And let's say you want to put it right there. And what I don't like is this dissolve thing. Like, look what I mean. See, it goes like it dissolves in and out. And I don't like that. I like it to be dramatic and just pop up, right? So I just put zero. And also, make sure you put fit. Because when you do Ken Burns, it does that weird thing. It starts the image out far away. Then it zooms into it. And I don't personally like that. But yeah, so just the full image right there and you can choose, I guess, like the coloring of it or like filter or yeah, cropping, you know, stuff like that, color balance, but we not about that life. I just do it nice and easy. Boom, boom, boom. Put it in there and let's say you want to do some type of sound effect with it. Let's say you want to, you want to do a camera shutter right so you take that from sound effects and usually what i used to do is put it like do it down here like that to match it with this but that's too complicated so i just go up here and match it up like that oh i hope that's good and then look let's see if it's good oh what did i do oh baby that's oh. dangerous well basically baby. the the point that's dangerous Okay, I guess that's good. I don't really know if it's perfect, but it's just much easier with this quark sound because it's just boom. It's not like, you know, like this camera shutter thing. Oh my goodness. And if you want to delete the previous thing, you just undo connect. Well, for sounds, for sound effects, you just undo connect. But yeah, let's let, let me just show you with the bottle cork because it's so much easier. Oh my god, I just need some water. I'm talking too much. Alright, so you just match it up as best as you can. It's kind of annoying to do it, but I just really like the sound or whatever. Alright, so let me show you with this. Baby, that's dangerous. Right, so if you're just not getting it, just do edit, undo connect, and then drag it back because... The reason why I say that, and it's so hard to find right here, like it's so hard to click on it, 
That's freaking weird. So I just undo connect and then I redo it once. I literally had to do it like 10 times for it to work. But anyway, usually now once you get the hang of it, it's so much easier and you just know where to put it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys will get it pretty fast. But yeah, that's picture in picture and I really, really freaking love that. And it took me like several videos for me to learn how to do that. But let me just teach you guys the basics. So obviously the music goes there. And how I do that, let me just tell you super quick how I do that. I think I did that in my past video. But, oh God. Okay, this is dangerous. We're just going YouTube. Oh no, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so how I do that, I just go on YouTube and I go no copyright sounds. Actually, I did do this on my old, um, on my other video. And then obviously there's these things I'm subscribed to for that. And in the, in this video or whatever, the tripod unboxing video, I use this song. So I click on it. Okay, I don't want it to play or anything. Oh God. Okay, so then I do this, if I like the song, then and make sure it's not copyrighted, like, make sure it's no copyright sounds, and on the bottom, no one's like, oh, this is copyrighted, like, you know, whatever. So, yeah, so then you copy the, so then you copy the link, and then new tab, and then I go to YouTube, to MP3 converter, it's such a lifesaver. So it's this link if you guys can't see it well. Um, okay, so then you please insert valid a YouTube thing and then you insert it, click convert and then it's gonna convert it and then you click download, please. It's gonna pop up when you put download, it's gonna pop up like your something is not up to date your adobe thing player isn't up to date and it's gonna be like a virus type thing do not click on that okay don't click on that that's a freaking scam so just click out of that and it's gonna download it and it's gonna go right here and then you i think it's kind of self-explanatory like i don't know i hope you guys can understand how to do it so literally how you put your videos your pictures in here you just go to this drop down arrow and you find your project media that you want to add and for music it should be in your downloads right here and how i click on this twice so it could be like most recent to most not recent stuff and yeah this is the most recent what we just like downloaded or whatever i'm not really sure but yeah, so, and these are all the songs. And if you're trying to put more than one project media, then you just click on one and you click shift. And then let's say that and you get all of that. Does that make sense? I don't know. If you guys don't think I'm explaining things right, just please comment below. I'll really try to explain it. Um, and I'll comment back as soon as I can, like real fast. Okay, sorry. Okay, so anywho. Um, I don't really know what else I'm missing, to be honest. Um, you see how, like, all of these things are cut up? Because, obviously, there's some parts that, like, I'm telling Sophia to be quiet. Or, like, you know, I gotta get a drink of water because I'm talking so freaking much. So, for that... <laughs> Like, let's say I want to cut out a certain part. So, you, you see how this line is dragging, like, side to side like that? Oh, this is kind of annoying because, like, there's voices in the back. But anyway. So, you just put it to the area you want to split the clip. And you click, like, on that line so it stays there. You see how I'm moving this around, but it's staying there. So, you just put it to the spot and you do Command B. And that splits the video. And um, what else? And you can obviously replicate clips. Like, you know how I do, like, the pre... 
thing right here to get you enticed and watch the video. I think that's very important. I learned that after like my third or fourth video, finally, that like it's a very good idea to do like don't just put your pre your what is this called your intro like clip right in the beginning because no one's really gonna care like they're clicking on the video because of your description what the video is about. So what I do is I put the funniest or like I guess most enticing type things that I think are gonna get people to continue wanting to watch my video right in the beginning um and i um i copy the clips like let's say i want to copy this one so i do copy and then i click here and i do command v and it brings the clip right here yeah so as you can see i also see how the song is cut up because this song comes up so that's the same way you would split this clip with put the cursor there and do command b i also do the same thing with the music like click on the music area whatever put your cursor then you do command b boom there it is and you could drag this okay i'm gonna like undo that obviously because i don't want that but anyway yeah i feel like that's really it like i'm not really sure what else i'm not putting that you guys would want to know but the main reason i wanted to do this is because i did have um the imovie app on my iphone a long time ago like several years ago and just don't do that don't edit your lawn um videos or movie type things for youtube on iMovie please because sometimes it does just shut down or like I guess it's just too much stuff and it just like what is that called it just kind of dies on you that has happened to me way too much so that's why I tell everybody that wants to do a YouTube channel please don't do it on your phone don't use Windows Movie Maker because I've spent hours making things on there before in the in like high school and it would just crash. That's what the word I was looking for. It would just crash. Please don't use that because you're going to literally cry. You're going to be so mad. Like, why didn't I do this? Like, I should have listened to my girl Marta. But you know what? It's all right. You know, that's how I learned. And that's how um, that's how I started using this stuff. But yeah, iMovie is where it's at right now. Like, if you're just starting YouTube, do not buy no crazy equipment. Don't buy um final cut pro that thing's like 300 dollars. no one's about to do that okay we don't got that type of money unless you're rich then you're good to go but like you know for the regular person that's a lot of money so yeah i'm pretty sure i got everything for you guys actually i don't know let me know because you know how i have my end screen i don't know if you guys want to know how i do that so just let me know and i'll show you guys I really hope I explained everything well because I'm kind of out of it right now but please let me know if I'm missing something because this video is going on for 30 minutes <laughs> that's so depressing okay so you see how last thing how this background is so this is what a PNG is by the way and why a lot of people like using PNG images which is like the format of the image there's like J uh I don't know guys I'm not like I'm so out of it right now but basically you look up on Google let's say thumbs up right you want to put a thumbs up when you say like don't forget to give my video a thumbs up so what you got to do for that is look up on Google thumbs up PNG format or just PNG and make sure when you look at each picture it says PNG somewhere there so when you um, transfer and download that image here then you see how it's black behind the thumb here on the image but here it's see-through on the actual video that's what a lot of people do so yeah that's another thing i don't really know what else i really don't do much crazy editing i did want to get a green screen though just for gaming purposes but yeah let me know if you guys like Oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry, the main, 
the main thing okay so when you want to upload to youtube you just do it through here it's literally they make it so easy just click on youtube and it should be linked up to your google account and it'll upload straight to youtube and it'll let you know when it's good and yeah that's really it i don't really know what, if i'm missing something but please let me know like i said like you know i'm not gonna get an attitude like when i just started youtube I had way too many questions and I didn't ask anyone, you know, I just researched and researched for freaking weeks. But yeah, yeah guys, so feel free to ask me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know. So yeah guys, um, thanks for watching this video and thanks for giving me these ideas, you know, letting me know what you guys want to see. Really appreciate it and I would love to do more of these videos or, you know, anything you guys want me to be real about you know what i'm saying because <laughs> i know you guys like the video about um the pyramid schemes i know it was real controversial so just let me know you know i'll talk about anything you know what i'm saying well not anything but you know a lot of things so yeah thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if it gave you some information you know how to do these things if you're starting out on youtube or just editing videos for Facebook, Instagram, whatever. See you guys next video.